Hello Spray Gunner viewers, Chef Boyer Dan here. And in today's tutorial video, I want to do a custom creative chrome effects. Now this is by far one of the shiniest chromes I've ever seen on the market. And you know we're all after the best chrome we can get out there. So let me show you this process and a little bit of tips and tricks on how to use it. So what I have here is a couple of 3D printed airbrush skull holders. Step one is spraying them with some Ammo Titan Primer Flat Black. This is a great product that provides a nice foundation to start with, hiding most of the fine details that some heavy primers have a tendency to do, this primer does not. The flat black is not dark enough, so I want to use some gloss black to base them with. I will be 2K clearing these, so any dark or deep black will work. I've mixed the W18 with some 4011 reducer at a 10% reduction and applied a few coats. I'm also using the PS289 for this. The next step is sticking some tape to a paint wand and turning it in a reverse motion so that it sticks to itself. This will hold most of your ready to paint parts very well. Now that both parts are ready, you will want to protect the water based paints with some 4050 before applying any 2K clear. This ensures no reactions between the two very different products. I grabbed the Grex TG3 with a fan cap for easy coverage and clear application. One or two coats will be all that's needed. I waited about a day to let the 4050 cure before applying the 2K clear. We here at Spray Gunner offer a perfect little set for airbrushing. You get one clear one activator, and one bottle of reducer. This kit makes this two to one, reducing as needed depending on your needle size. I normally do a two to one to a half reducer ratio. Some pipettes would help with the extraction of the liquids, but be careful not to mix them up. You don't want to use an activator one inside the clear bottle. Now that the basics are done and your project is nice and gloss black, it's chroming time. Chrome effects is ready to spray so no reduction needed. This product hazes over very quickly so I like to apply each coat very fast. I want to apply enough to get that nice shiny look but not enough to completely cover the black. The chrome on top of the gloss black reflection is what actually makes this effect possible. See, I like to polish it soon after spraying, especially any hazy parts left behind. It makes it shine even more. The bigger the project, the faster you need to go in my opinion. A second piece was painted so I can show you what happens if you use a candy over top of this chrome. I applied it directly over the chrome effects without any changes in appearance. I will do another test with the 4050 down the road on the chrome before adding clear to see if there is any difference as well. Now that the pieces are chrome, any candy would work to make a cool color of your own, so this tequila yellow really makes a nice gold. I've mixed it at a 4 to 1 ratio with 10% 40-11 to thin it out more so the chrome shines through. This also gave me more control of how rich I want the gold to be. I use the same tequila yellow and poured it into the PS270 so I can get closer to the paint accents around the base of this chrome skull. I've also simulated an accident by leaving the lid off the airbrush. Just kidding. 
I forgot to put the lid back on and now you can see what will most likely happen. I'm not too worried about the overspray at this point because the candy will be wet long enough for me to use some fine point q-tips to remove the overspray around the chrome. Sometimes I dip it in a little reducer but don't go too heavy with this. I'm being lazy on this step so a better recommendation might be using the ammo liquid mass 2032. The skulls are missing some eyes and finding these necklace beads in gold and chrome will work perfect for this. Using the ammo instant dry was the fastest way to add these inside the skulls. Once you're happy with the finished paint job, this is the next most important part. You must top coat this with a UVLS gloss clear to not lose its shine. If you move straight to 2K, it will diminish the chrome shine considerably. The 4053 high gloss was my natural choice for this next step. Using the TG3 with the fan cap, applying one to two coats and letting it cure for another day. Finishing the final step with two more coats of the no name 2K clear set. I know it looks like a lot of steps at first, but follow them in order and you will have a nice shiny chrome finish to any project. We have these available in quartz and 250 milliliter bottles. Thanks for watching, have fun chroming, and shopping with us at SprayGunner.com.